Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay folks, that was a really cold night actually, surprisingly, so hopefully it warms up tomorrow night. <coughs> or tonight I should say. Um, I'm going to get the tarp down now. Sorry folks, that's all the rubbish picked up. Everything else picked up as well. As you can see, left no trace. Now this is where the people with backpacks I saw uh, could have been um, staying. I didn't realise there was a campsite here. So there's a campsite sign again for the same campsite. And there's the campsite. So that's uh, Hales Fruit Farm, farm shop, tea rooms and restaurant and camping. Okay, it seems the site's closed at the moment, annoyingly. Um, important message, we'll be closed for a while. Hales Abbey. I think I can see parts of it from the fence. The last time I did the Cotswold Way, you could get a really good view of this from the path. Now they've got a great big hedge and all this is overgrown. Plus remains of the Abbey over there. It's a beautiful morning. Hopefully it's going to be warmer tonight than it was last night. Yeah, it was um, a shame the um, Abbey is closed. As I said, I remember uh, I remember walking past it when I did the Cotswold Way on its own last time and I was walking f uh, f the other direction and um, the hedgerow was lower and you could actually have a good view of the um, abbey from the path but now they've got these hedgerows you, you can't see the ruins at all which is a real big shame I think. I love these uh, trees, there's some seriously nice trees along this uh, part. Don't know, don't know how you guys have uh, coped with uh, the lockdown, losing your freedom for um, over three months. Because uh, I use public transport, I've only just been able to get, get away from the local area doing this uh, hike. And the lockdown has affected me really badly, but only towards the end really, I started to feel quite, I guess, mentally ill. I was uh, started suffering serious anxiety and these bloody horrible panic attacks. I don't know if anyone else, any of my other viewers get uh, panic attacks. I mean, I have suffered from them in the past, but I haven't had them, I don't have them very often, but um, definitely being sort of doing what I like took away from me. It's, it's really affected me badly in the last, any the, literally the last week of the lockdown, ironically. I just it just got to me and um I'm still feeling feeling it now anxiety and uh a bit panicky um so hopefully this hike sorts my head out but um I I feel so um much anxiety I'm finding it hard to eat this morning which is obviously not good when you're hiking um so I don't know if any of you other guys have um suffered from that as a result of the lockdown or you just suffer from it in general if anyone who does they'll realize just how horrible it is it just sounds like you're a, you've just got a bit of wor worry and there's no problem but it's it's more than that it's like it's actually terrifying so uh yeah it's not good so yeah i'd be interested to know if anyone else suffers from that so yeah this is uh winchcombe down there coming up um, not been on this bit. The only other time I've been on this uh, route here on the Cotswold Way is when I did the Cotswold Way. But remember, I did the Cotswold Round, which uses a large part of the Cotswold Way going heading this way towards Bath. Um, but when I leave Winchcombe, it heads up to Bally's Nap, which I've been to many times. I mean, there are areas around there you could world camp. Officially, they don't like you world camping on uh, Cleve Hill. Uh, so I won't be uh, world camping up there on this occasion and I've been up there so many times anyway 
Uh, I am walking up there, but I'm just not going to wild camp up there anyway. It's early now, it's the morning, so I tell you what, this uh, walk this morning in this lovely uh, sunrise is doing me the world of good. I'm so glad that we're allowed out again camping, and I think I could have uh, <laughs> handled any more of this bloody lockdown. I can't explain how relaxing it is just walking down this country lane. It's a really good, really good feeling to be somewhere different. It's really good for the mind. I'm sure I took a picture of this sign when I did the Cotswold Way last time. I love the name, Puck Pit Lane. So this is our Winchcombe. It's quite early in the morning still, it's 6.55 in the morning. And here you got a, a social distancing sign which you see all over the country at the moment. Winchcombe uh, Museum. Probably closed at the moment, I'm not sure. Well, it is, at the mo it is now because it's early in the morning. Okay, rubbish time. And that's all my rubbish, I think. So, there is a castle, but I'm not going to be walking near it, unfortunately. So up on the uh, ridge up there is uh, Bella's Nap, I believe. You can see a uh, ruined uh, farm building. Looks like they're planting a load of uh, new trees up here. Well, I'm liking this part of the uh, Cotswold Round on the uh, Winchcombe Way. On the on the Cross Britain Way, I actually went past the factory where they make those. Got a half a moon over the ridge line. This is the uh, Bella's Nap car park if you're coming from um, Winchcombe Way. Well, almost to the top where uh, Bella's Nap is. Just walked up here, just walked up here. Some view, eh? Uh, the path that goes through the woods towards Bella's Nap. I can see uh, someone with a backpack ahead of me. Maybe they stopped the night up here. It was a good. Some good spots about. Yeah, up Bally's Nap now. This is the uh, sign for it if you want to pause it and read it. And over here is the entrance to the uh, tomb. So this side is better filming uh, for sunrise. The sun rises over in the direction from Winchcombe. Yeah, there's uh, someone sitting here, so I'm not going to do any droning today here, yeah? but I've got plenty of drone footage from here which um, I'll put up from you from a past trip. So this is uh, walking down the rear of the tomb. So folks, in the end I did get some droning, the guy who was sitting there uh, decided to make a move, there was no one about, so I thought, yeah, I'll get some new footage of uh, Bella's Nap. Some old uh, farm ruins around there. Well this is, Cle this is Cleve Hill folks, oh, I'm loving the uh, Cleve Hill section. Tell you what, there are plenty of places to camp up here. But um, yeah, there are no, no camping signs um, in some areas. There's actually a bin on top of the hill. Uh, this hill actually has wardens, it's that, that big. Okay, it's rubbish time on Cleve Hill. Somebody's amazing they got a bin up here. Yeah, cheers guys for that. <laughs> I hope I'm going the right way, there seems to be so many roots. Looks like chalk, doesn't it? I don't know if it is. Really beautiful. 
was expecting it to be like this. I mean, I've been up Cleve Hill before when I did Cotswolds Wave, but um, I never went on this bit because the Cots uh, Cotswolds Round actually goes around the whole of the hill, basically. There's so many opportunities for camping around here, but this place gets really busy in the day. I don't know what it's like at night time. And obviously, there's lots of tracks around here, farm, like uh, four wheel drive tracks. It's definitely limestone. It's even a little dam down there. It's actually quite steep. See what's called a uh, cleave hill now. It's got like a cleft in the hill. I think that's Cheltenham down there. I don't know if you can uh, make it on the video, but um, in the distance, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, Great Malvern Hills. Rubbish time on the hill again. Okay folks, well this is some of the uh, rules of uh, Cleve Common. If you want to pause it and read it. This is my uh, sun protection. Something you get in sunburn um, instead of using suntan lotion. Um, I can't stand suntan lotion. Um, I don't think it's uh, very good for your skin, to be honest. So I prefer using this to cover up, to, you know, sun protection. Makes a lot more sense to me, anyway. Some lovely thistles there. So I'm heading towards a reservoir, I think it's up in the hills in this uh, forest by the looks of it on the map. Guys, I don't know if you can hear that. The pylons are like hissing the electricity. <laughs> I really don't like walking along these pylon pylons. Not the place you want to uh, fly a kite really, is it? There are absolutely tons of opportunity for uh, wild camping on this uh, trail. Lots of wooded areas on the way. Not sure what this is all about. There is a lake here, so obviously it's to do with that. I think it's uh, for when the, um, the lake is. It's an overflow for the lake, basically, I guess. Okay, folks. I'm going up the uh, steepest part of the hike so far and it is pretty steep actually steep dude I don't know if you're picking it up on the video Okay, so I've just been to, I think it's called Hungry House or Hungry Horse or something. I'll put the name on the description. I just got um, a double cheeseburger with cheese and they give me chips. I didn't ask for chips. I don't know if I paid any extra for that. They put some, a load of sauces and stuff in there. So I'm going to just, I'm absolutely starving. Um, yeah, it's really weird. I had to, um, give my name and details because of um yeah the situation so this is the uh the burger and try not to get attacked by this wasp here that's quite nice i am starving well guys i really enjoyed the uh double cheeseburger and the chips i can't quite eat them all i don't think 
Still walking past Gloucester by the looks of it. Some information here about the Devil's Chimney. I'm near the Devil's Pulpit, whatever that is. Yeah, interesting trick point. Uh, Star Bistro, uh, Walker's Welcome, Breakfast, Lunch, Hot Drinks, Mondays to Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah, if you want to read that, uh, please pause it. So, I'm on Crickley Hill now. Bin time, folks. If you want to read that, uh, pause it. Absolutely stunning up here. It's a shame about the uh, car park, but it is absolutely stunning. Yeah, if you want to read any of these, uh, pause it. So, at the bottom of here, there's a pub called The Balloon. Um, did actually see a hot air balloon earlier, but I'm wondering whether it's open or not. Uh, the little calf at the top of uh, Crickley Hill was uh, closed, unfortunately. The air balloon, I don't think I'm going to go in. I don't know if it's open or not, it doesn't look very open. The last time I came along this bit on the Cotswold Way going the other way, um, there were loads of uh, paragliders. I think as soon as I find somewhere to put the uh, tarp up in the trees, I'm going to stop. I've done over 40 kilometres so far today. Well, it's been a really long hiking day today. I really enjoyed it. 